I don't know about you all, but my legs always seem stiff and tight. That's the last thing that I want before my intense leg day. For years, I would try different exercises and warm-ups, but nothing quite did the trick. That is, until I found this inexpensive piece of foam. So today I'm gonna to show you how I foam roll my legs before legs day. Hi, I'm Roberto. Welcome to my channel. I've dealt with many injuries throughout my life, be it from sports or from the army. So that's why proper warm-ups are so important to my training regimen. You might hear from different people that foam rolling before your workout is not a good idea, but I disagree. I've been doing it for the last couple of years and I've never felt more comfortable and strong in the gym. Foam rolling helps improve blood flow and relax your muscles. It helps get rid of all those trigger points that might tighten up and cause you pain or injury during your lift. While you can use trigger point therapy or foam rolling for any muscle, I find it very critical to do so during legs day. So no matter how much time I have, before legs day, the first thing I do is grab my foam roller and head to the mats. After I'm done foam rolling, I can do proper warm-ups with weights. The first muscles I like to start with are my hamstrings. I start by placing the foam roller under my left hamstring. From there, I start rolling and make sure that I hit all the trigger points. I do this for about 30 seconds per each muscle. When I'm finished, I switch to the other leg and repeat. You control the intensity of this by how much weight you put on the foam roller. I would say you don't want to be more than a five pain level. From there, I move on to my IT bands. I turn my body to my side and get on my left IT band. This is where I generally feel the most tightness, so I try to put a little extra pressure on there, especially when I feel those trigger points. From there, I'll switch and do the same thing to the other side. This one takes a little bit more coordination than the hamstring, but you'll get used to it. Moving on, we head to an often overlooked muscle, the piriformis. Foam rolling your piriformis can be a little tricky, so I might suggest using a softball. But if you only have a foam roller, you want to get to the edge and place all your weight on that piriformis. It requires a little less rolling because that piriformis is so small, but definitely more focus. Once again, you'll switch to the other leg and continue. The piriformis muscle is so important because your sciatic nerve runs right through that. And people who have a lot of back pain are generally very tight in their piriformis. From there, move on to the quads. Back to the left leg, I place my quad on that foam roller, find those trigger points, and start applying pressure. Although it can be painful at times, it can also be very soothing, kind of like a massage. After about 30 seconds, I go ahead and move over to the right quad. You might notice that between your right and left side, you have different trigger points, so you might have to do a different range of motion. Finally, I hit the ever elusive calf muscles. I'll place the foam roller on my left calf and start rolling out all those trigger points. Make sure that you rotate your calf so that you hit all of the tightness in that muscle. This one's a little bit tricky to place a lot of weight on there, so try to get up on your fingertips if you can. Once again, after 30 seconds, I move over to the right calf and repeat. And there you have it, my five minute foam rolling before legs day. And that's exactly what I do before each and every leg workout. I also try to foam roll before bed, that way my muscles can recover. You don't need to go out and buy the most expensive foam roller. The very basic model works just fine. In fact, I've left a link to the exact one that I use in the description of this video if you would like one. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and share with your friends. 